Now let's see this one. 25% is actually 1 by 4. Uh, so 965 divided by 4. 960 divided by, divided by 4 is 240. Then 5 divided by 4 is 1.25. Right? So it is 241.25. Now 69 can be written as 70 minus 1 and into 45. So 7 5s are 35. 7 4s are 28 and 3. 31. So it's 3150 minus 0.45, right? Now simply we have to solve this. Since there is a minus sign, it will be negative. It will be positive, okay? Now after decimal, that's 25, 45, 70, minus 50, 20. So after decimal, 0 0.20 should be there, right? And uh, from 241, if we deduct uh, 31, we will be getting 210. So your answer is 210.2. Okay. Now 576 root of 576 is 24 and uh, this is by 100 into root of 5625 that's 85 um, sorry 75 right and how come 75 directly I have written for that you should attend the square root of perfect square numbers. Uh, how do you find that, right? So actually, uh, if any number start, ends with 5, square can be taken very easily, 7 into 8. That means this number into the next number and at the end put up 25, right? So that's 18, okay? Now here, it's 35, 15, minus 8, uh, minus 5, right? So precisely 15 minus 13, it is 35 square and that is root of x square right that's square root is over there so precisely if i remove the this uh, square root sign it will be 4 over here right so x square is 35 raised to 4 so x must be 35 square okay and 35 square as i have already told you how to find 3 into 4 and put 25 so that's 1 2 2 5 okay now this is uh, 4 by 5 is actually 0.8 and 1 by 2 is 0.5. So precisely it is 8.8 .8 by 3.5 or we can say 88 by 35, right? So 35, 2 and uh, then remainder is 18 by 35. It's very simple, okay? Now see this problem. Uh, first of all, you just remove the percentage sign and remove the two zeros. Percentage sign, put a decimal over here. Remove percentage sign, remove two zeros. And uh, similarly here, 32.5. So instead you write it 27 and make it double of that. That means half over here, double of this. So it's 65, right? So precisely your calculation is 53 into 30 plus 27 into 65 minus 58 into 50. Now you can simply solve it or you can go by the digital root technique or you can simply eliminate the option as I told you. Uh, see, if you go by digital root technique, it's 5 and 3, 8, 8 into 3, 24, that means it is 6. Plus, digital root of this will be 9 only because 27 is there and that is multiple of 9. So if any number is multi uh, multiplied by 9, digital root will be 9 itself, right? Minus... This is 8 and 5, 13, that means 4, 4 into 5, 20, that means 2. So, uh, while adding the numbers, you can eliminate 9 uh, because in addition, 9 do, uh, doesn't create any uh, impact, right? So, 6 minus 2, the digital root is 4. Let's see, that's uh, not, this uh, digital root is producing 4, it's not 4, it's not 4. Right? So, 445 will be the correct choice. Okay? One more verification can be done. See, this number is multiple of 3 because you are getting digital root as 6. This number is multiple of 3 because you are getting digital root as 9. So, if two uh, multiples of 3 are added and uh, if we deduct non-multiple of 3, then definitely your answer should not be multiple of 3. Right? So, that's, this is not multiple of 3. So, that would be the correct choice. One more verification we have done. Okay, so I hope you are clear with all the problems that you have sent me so far and the problems were really easy. You need to practice a lot 
uh, with uh, simplification and calculation problems. Do attend uh, my sessions on uh, YouTube, uh, which I am already provided, which I have already provided uh, with various multiplication calculation shortcuts. Okay, all the best. Bye bye.